are treated, then you put yourself at risk when you advocate for others. These negative stereotypes are not true. The stereotype types are not true. They're fake, fake news. You want your managers to value you and your skills to bring more sales and profit to the company. You must feel confident in your ability to meet high standards. All stereotypes are false, fake news. When you have techniques to identify when you and others are being stereotyped, then you can reduce the risk and have the potential for strong performance. All companies like people are different. In a sales and profit focused culture, you will be at risk if you don't prioritize sales and profits. To learn how the culture works, you must improve your cross-group interaction. You must find a way to foster better intergroup relations because these interactions will help undo stereotypical associations. I think you say you felt more comfortable as you got It takes a measured approach to survive these environments if you care. And if you are at risk and you don't play by the cultural rules of your specific company, I found that myself, I found myself standing up to mistreatment of a black woman on my sales desk at Green and she was hired as a summer associate on our desk. And I said, not on my watch. This woman was smart and from a top 10 business school. However, by standing up, I was standing out. I was not following the cultural rules as a result, and I was perceived as untrustworthy and inexperienced. That's, now, that's not how I see myself. But think about it. If you tell your manager they are doing something wrong, then they may perceive you as untrustworthy and inexperienced. In some corporate cultures, you never fight up or fight down. You fight level to level. I was later fired from Green after receiving a $40,000 diversity bonus and told my, in my annual review meeting that I was welcome to find another place at Green, but I was not perfect. Basically, they didn't want me on their team. In this situation, I cared about how a black woman on my desk was being treated. I stood up for her, and my manager did not like that. On one hand, I was not producing enough revenue to justify my seat. On the other hand, the managers did not give me a sense of belonging or, or remove cues that trigger worries about stereotypes so that I could focus on my performance. Even though I tried to help a colleague manage feelings of stress and threat, which I attributed to potential anxiety and stereotype threat, I was not seen that way by my managers. The culture was not consistent in creating a safe trading desk while conveying high standards and assuring workers, full-timers, part-timers, and interns of their ability to meet these standards. I saw a barrier set up by my managers that would hurt the summer associate's performance. I cared and was at risk. I gave critical feedback to my managers and they did not hear it as something that was critical to meeting high standards. As a result, as I said, I was fired in 2007. And one year later, the Green Firm went bankrupt in 2008. I believe, and it is my opinion, that a key factor in the failure of Green was its inconsistent culture. An inconsistent culture will lead to underperformance in highly competitive and risky environments. Stereotype threats and cues are setting the trigger worries about stereotypes will lead to underperformance in highly competitive and risky environments. Cues, settings, photos, environments that you work, the cues that may trigger a feeling of anxiety. Even institutions like Green can be the victim of stereotype threat and be judged as criminal, take advantage of others, irresponsible and uncaring by its peers, even though it's not true. Even an individual who is black 
can be a victim of stereotype threats and be judged as criminal, taken advantage of, irresponsible and uncaring for his peers, even though it's not true. The bottom line is this, I'm not perfect. No firm is perfect. And on Wall Street, it's about sales and profits. And like another white angel told me years earlier, issues like diversity, stereotype cues, and racial signals are soft issues. Fortune 500 companies and for-profit companies are focusing on sales and profits. Sales and profits. For nearly 40 years, I have been fighting stereotype threats with the help of therapy, new information, and strong relationships. And I am here to tell you, it's hard to focus on sales and profits while embracing my knowledge of the history of race in America. If you're going into a for-profit profession, tech, then please focus on sales and profits from day one. If you want to save the world and do good works, then you'll likely need to go into nonprofit work or charity work, start your foundation. But if you choose to work for a for-profit company, learn quickly what specific skills are valued at the company and understand the corporate culture rules that are valued and then focus on sales and profits. Use stereotype intervention strategies, the 12 that we mentioned earlier, to reduce your anxiety so that you can focus. In all professions, you can be burdened by the constant vigilance of how you are being perceived by others. So, so your knowledge and ability to use interventions to reduce stereotype threat is critical to your survival and performance. Finally, when you ascend to senior management at your tech firm and you are productive and in the position to hire, fire, and promote people, then my ask to you now is this. Hire more black people and women. Remove cues that trigger worries about stereotype. Convey that diversity is valued and create a critical mass. Now, why did I ask you that? The white angel that I told you about at Blue called me last year, 2017. He has done exactly what I just asked you to do. He reminded me about a conversation we had in Atlanta around 2003. I had made the same request to him and I'm asking you today. When he asked me what he could do, I told him hire more black people. My white angel called me to tell me that he had just done that because I had asked him to do so. Thank you. like to share their experience with a stereotype, a positive stereotype or a negative stereotype. Would anyone like to write a song about Stereotype. This is a difficult subject for me to talk about. And I am certain when you leave the safety and love of your college environment and get into the real world, you will experience, directly or indirectly, stereotype threats. Whenever there's money on the line, is competitive, there's someone who wants that seat, and they don't want you in it. And they will do anything to knock you off your path.
What do you think about that? One thing I had to do, I didn't have the, the money to, to finance my therapist for my mental health issues. But I did have a pen and pencil and a guitar to write down what I was feeling. This song is called Voices Have No Color. I was a teacher at the Dalton School on the Upper East Side. And the Rodney King verdict came across from California. Are you familiar with that? I see some people shaking this way and some people shaking that way. Well, it started like this. For Rodney King who was driving, black man, and he got stopped by the cops. What happened? Take a guess. Uh, didn't he like, he got like shot, but unfairly or something. Okay, anyone else? What happened to the uh, NBA player in Milwaukee?